some little warm-up moves. Alrighty, I guess I'm gonna get up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to lift up onto the tiptoes to start with. We'll just reach up and then come back down. So we'll just do that a few times. Just lift and then come on back down. The most important part of this is the balance challenge. <laughs> we'll do it one more time. And then we're going to take one arm up and one arm down, stretch between the two. And then the other way. Oh, let's do that one more time. shoulders. Oh, go the other direction. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so then take a little wider stance. And we're just going to swing from the waist. The arms are just along for the ride. Got the knees a little soft. but we're just going to do two more. <laughs> All right. So you're going to take one foot, just put so that the toes are on the ground, but the heel is in the air, and then just kind of spin a circle around the ball of your foot so that you get a little fluid movement going in the ankle, the knee, the hip. And then we're going to go the other direction. shake and then we'll do the other side so we've got one foot on and then do a little circle and then go the other direction give that a little shake okay so now we're ready so we're going to do um, a form called the soon form. It's spelled like sun, but pronounced soon. Um, and we'll do that as kind of a warm up form. If this is unfamiliar to you, we'll just take it one step at a time and do it as best we can. So it starts with a posture called the heaven posture. So you put your heels together with your toes separated. And then you stand up nice and tall. So it feels like it's sort of not all the way into a ballet pose, but sort of halfway there. Right. And then feel your spine get nice and long. And I always take a moment just to take a breath or two just to center myself. And then we're going to sink a bit. We're going to let the arms come up sort of like we're holding a ball. And you're going to shift the weight to your right leg so you can step forward and hand that ball forward. And then your right leg follows about hips distance apart now. And then you're going to take a big breath, expand the arms and then bring the hands back. Flatten the palms forward and step out to your right with a big sweeping step, that's single whip, and then bring your leg back. So the right hand's on top, the left hand's on the bottom, we're gonna step out and then just pass across. This is called waving hands like clouds. So you might have learned a slightly different version of this at some point, but it's similar. You step out and move, and then the 
hands shift position in the corner and come back across. And then one more time, step to your right. Hopefully I'm mostly still on the screen. We're gonna take a breath. Now we're gonna curve around. So you're gonna turn to your left and your right arm is gonna make a shape sort of like you're hugging a friend next to you. Your left hand is gonna stay up by your heart to start with. You're gonna step forward with your left foot, slice across so it's a brush knee. We're gonna brush the left hand across and push the right hand forward. And then step forward, half a step with your right foot. Come up onto your tiptoe on your left foot and strum your guitar. So that left foot is gonna step forward. Right hand moves forward into a jab. Left, uh, right foot steps forward, left hand goes forward, strike. And then we're gonna pull the fist back as we step forward one more time. And then the fists and the feet come together. Step back with the right foot, pull the ball onto your knee, and then push the mountain. And then we're just gonna travel back around where we came from. Take a nice big breath. What I like about the soon form is they just link back together. So we're just gonna go back into single whip. We'll step out to the right, step back in, step out to wave hands like clouds. Just gonna go back and forth <laughs> with the torso, always stepping to the right at this point one more time. <laughs> When you get to that third one, we're gonna take a breath. We're gonna hug our friend. Step with the left foot, brush your knee and push. Half a step in, strum the guitar. Step down, strike. Step, strike. Fist comes back. Fist and feet come together. Step back, pull the ball onto your knee push the mountain, and then we'll come around. We take a breath. Okay, one more time. So we're gonna flatten the palms, step out for single whip. Wave hands like clouds. And just let your body move in a smooth way. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. It is. <laughs> tai Chi is a lot of things, but one of the things that can be is a moving meditation. <laughs> Take a breath. And then we're going to hug our friend, brush our knee and push, half a step in, strum the guitar. Step down to strike, step up to strike, coming back, fist and feet come together, step back, big ball, push that mountain away, and come around. Now we're going to take a breath, and to close this form, and you can do as many of those as you like, but to close it, we're going to take the arms straight up and then bring the hands straight down to the hips. And then we adjust the right foot into that heaven posture, left foot into the heaven posture. Grow nice and tall, and then bow. So, <laughs> so that's, the, that's the soon form, and it's sometimes referred to as um, the soon short form. There's Soon forms that go up to 121 different moves. This one is quite compact with only 12 moves. Um, but it's I think it's a fun one. You can do it in a relatively tight space. Um, and it's pretty lateral, so it's a little easier to teach in this kind of a format. Now the form that we're gonna get into now <laughs> is the Yang short form, and that's a 24 move form, but we're like what I'm doing with these recordings is I'm, I'm doing one lesson at a time. So we're up to almost at the end. So we're gonna do um, the section that I've already covered through a few times, and then I'll teach you a new move, and then we'll put that in, okay?
okay? So if something isn't clear, you can stop me, but otherwise we're gonna just kind of start. Now, with the young form, I need to be able to take about six steps in the, to my left um, to begin with. So I'm gonna start um, wherever your, however your room is configured, you're gonna start so that you can kind of get yourself a little bit of space going off to your left. And this form moves around a little bit more than this, the soon form, so it's a little trickier, but we'll do our best. So this one starts in the earth posture, which is more like mountain pose. So the toes point forward. They can be touching or they can be a little bit apart. It depends on your anatomy. And so we find that shape to begin with. And then we're gonna let ourselves kind of start to bend a little at the hip and the knee. We're gonna shift the weight to the right and just step the left foot out a little bit so we've got more of a hips distance or a shoulder distance position. Then the arms are gonna drift up like they're being lifted and we're gonna come over a little ball. Now, I'm gonna set myself up for my first move. So my left arm is gonna go under my right arm and I'm turning a little to my left. I'm gonna take a diagonal step to the left and this move is called parting the horse's mane. So we're gonna take the left arm up and the right arm down lean backwards so that your weight goes into your right leg and your left toes come up turn a little bit to the left your hands are positioned so your right arm's on the bottom then we're going to step diagonally to the right right arm goes up left arm goes down coming back one more time to the left then we're going to take a little half a step in put all the weight back in that right leg and turn this is called the white crane spreads its wings so we just switch which arm is up and come back around. Now we're gonna do brush knee and push. So I'm gonna take tiny steps, I don't have a lot of room. I'm gonna turn my palm, drop my arm back, my left hand is across my chest. I'm gonna step with my left foot, brush my knee, push with the right hand. Let your hips and everything come with you. Come back, turn to your left, right hands at the chest. Step with your right foot, brush your knee, push. Okay, one more time. Step with your left foot, brush your knee, push. Take a half a step in, and we're gonna strum our guitar. This time the toes go in the air, but it doesn't matter if it gets that wrong. So then we're gonna grab a bowstring with the right hand. Left hand faces forward. You're gonna pull back like you're pulling back a bow, and then you're gonna turn that into a giant hug of the planet. This is called stepping back to repulse the monkey. We're gonna step back, pull a bow, hug the earth. Step back, pull a bow, hug the earth. <laughs> One more time, step back, pull a bow, hug the earth. And then we step back to bring ourselves back to the start. That left hand's gonna go under. This is called grasping the bird's tail. We're gonna step to the left, left elbow goes up and then both arms reach up to grasp the bird's tail. It's like a peacock, long tail feathers. <laughs> Maybe a macaw. And then we're gonna push our wrist and pull the ball onto our toe. So there's a bird on the other side. So to get there, we're gonna push the mountain away and then just rotate around. When the weight goes to my left leg, I'm gonna do it again. So stepping out to the right, reach up, grab that bird's tail, stroke all the way down by your hip, push your wrist forward, pull the ball onto your toe, push the mountain away and then we're going to come back to the center now this is the waving hands like cloud sequence for the young form it starts with what's called grasping the tiger's tail so we're going to make a crane shape with our right hand left hand is like I'm holding a platter next to my right chest muscle and then I'm going to step out so my crane hand goes out to the side and my um, flat hand makes like a little knife edge strike Okay, so that's, theoretically I'm grabbing a tiger by the tail. I'm not clear that's a good idea, but <laughs> there it is. <laughs> then we're gonna sweep our weight back over to the right, paint that fence on the corner, sort of like that Karate Kid move, and then we're waving hands like clouds. So I'm gonna step to my left foot, and then rotate back over here to the right. Step out. And again, just get floaty like you're made out of clouds. <laughs> I'm gonna take a tiny little step so I have enough room to step out for the tiger again. 
Now, once I come back over here to the right, rather than do another cloud, I'm gonna catch that tiger by the tail. Then this is gonna turn into a kick. So my weight comes to my left leg, I pick up my right knee, extend out, theoretically balancing for a moment, and then putting your foot down and boxing your opponent on the ears. Now, I find the kicks challenging, and if I lose my balance on a given day, I just put my freaking foot down. <laughs> so don't worry, yeah, don't worry if it gets a little off balance. The theory is with this form, is that we use this up as an opportunity to kind of hold that balance for a brief moment before we box. But if it kind of all comes down, no sweat. Usually on the other side, that's what happens to me. <laughs> so we do the one so that we got the tiger, I've got a kick and a box ears, and then I'm gonna rotate, and then I'm gonna kick on my other leg. So I pick up my left leg, kick, now this time, I'm just gonna put my hand beside me. So I've got a snake hand or a crane hand. In this case, it's a snake. And my other hand is by my cheek. So I'm gonna step out with my left foot. This turns into almost a lunge. My hand comes down. This is called the snake, creeps down. And then I bring the whole right side up for golden pheasant, stands on one leg, okay? Then the other side does a similar thing. So I make a snake. I step out in a lunge, the snake creeps down, and then I find my golden pheasant, theoretically, <laughs> and come down. So that's where we, I know, <laughs> it's a lot of form. This is the, what we've gotten to up till now. So we're just gonna do those moves in a nice slow sequence through a couple more times, and then we'll just work on one move. Okay, fingers crossed. <laughs> So find your earth posture, feet facing forward, erase your mental chalkboard. We're just going to do it together. So we're going to step out a little to the left. The arms are going to float up. We're going to turn and kind of push, bring the right side with us, and then hold the ball, right arm on top, left leg steps out. Parting the horse's mane. Right leg steps out. Parting the horse's mane. And then one more time, left leg. Step in halfway. Lean all your weight into that right leg. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your palm. We're going to let the arm fall back. This becomes brush knee and push. Rock back. Turn left, brush knee and push. Rock back, turn right, brush knee and push. Half a step in, strum your guitar. And then this turns into stepping back to repulse the monkey. So first we pull back the bow and then hug the earth. So if we're like Cupid for a moment, pull back the bow, oh, all kinds of love. <laughs> pull back the bow, lots of love. One more time, pull back the bow, lots of love, and then we step back. So this is my bird's tail. So I'm going to step out left, reach up to grab the bird's tail, come back, push the wrist, pull the ball onto your knee, <laughs> push the mountain, turn it around. The palms just stay in front of me until I get my weight to my left leg again. Step out right, grab the bird's tail, push the wrist, pull the ball onto your toe, push the mountain. And then we're coming back around. And when we get the weight here, we're going to shift all the weight into that right leg, step out to catch the tiger, bring it back, paint the fence, <laughs> waving hands like clouds. And then we're going to step out to catch the tiger. I'm picking up my right knee, 
kicking it out. <laughs> Catching yourself boxing on the air. <laughs> Turn your left foot, right foot. Now pick up that left foot, kick it out. Snake by your ear. We're gonna step to the left, make a lunge. Snake creeps down, golden pheasant. Turn a little to your left. Step out with your right foot, snake creeps down, golden pheasant. Oh, that one doesn't work very well. <laughs> golden pheasant. I'll work on that one. Oh. <laughs> I'm not that bad, Anne. Yeah. All right, we're going to do that whole thing one more time. So here we go. Find your earth posture. Step out a little to the left. Arms come up over the ball. We're pushing around to the left. And then we hold the ball on our right hip. Step out to your left. Part your horse's mane. To the right. To the left. Half a step in. White crayon spreads its wing. Feel really elegant there. Turn the palm. We're letting it drop all the way back. Brush your knee and push. Rock back. Brush your knee and push. Rock back. One more time. Brush the knee, push. Half a step in. Strum your guitar. Pull back on the bow. Hug the planet. <laughs> step back. Stepping back to repulse the monkey. Step back a little on the diagonal here. My left arm goes under, so I'm going to step out, grab the bird's tail, come back, push the wrist, pull the ball onto your toe, push the mouth, coming around. <laughs> Step right, grasp the bird's tail, push your wrist, pull the ball onto your toe, push the mountain, coming around. And me and this tiger, step out to catch the tiger. to catch the tiger half a step up so I can pick up my leg and kick Whoa. and box. Oh. Come around, pick up the left leg, kick and catch. Step, snake creeps down, golden pheasant, turn, step, snake creeps down, golden pheasant. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> All right, so the move that we're going to the move we're going to learn next is called the fair maiden works the shuttles or the fair maiden works the loom. So I'm going to show it to you from a couple different angles and hopefully okay. it will work. Okay? So I'm going to show you the angle we were working at. So this is my golden pheasant. When I put that foot down, I'm going to put my weight there and I'm going to have my hands positioned. So basically I just snap them down. Okay. I'm going to step out with my left foot, my right, I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to step out with my right foot. My right foot is going to step out. My right hand is going to come to my forehead. My left hand is going to push up. Okay. So the fair maiden part is this, right? <laughs> So like, there's the fair maiden and the loom part is this upward push, right? So imagine that you're weaving and then you push the threads up on the loom. Does that make sense? Can, can you see that in your yes. mind? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do one in each direction. So we've got 
the pheasant, we're down, step right, push up, then I'm going to come back, step left, push up, okay? And so that's the last move we're going to try today. So I'm going to show it to you this way. So here's my pheasant, snap the, it's like I'm just snapping the lid closed on the box, step, push, okay, step, push up. And the move, like in martial arts, is probably I'm either jamming somebody on the chin or I'm pushing their nose into their face. So it is an upward thrust in martial arts. But of course, Tai Chi is really loosely, <laughs> like it's a martial arts move, but it's done in a very slow dance-like way, okay? But if that kind of helps give you kind of a trajectory, like I'm not reaching way up high, I'm going from about my waist to about the middle of my forehead, okay, is the move, yeah. Okay. So that, that's my pathway for the hand. So I've got, I'm gonna show it to you this direction. Here's my pheasant, step out, protect myself, strike up. Step out, protect myself, strike up, okay? Yes. Okay, cool. So we'll do that one more time, go in the right direction or the direction everything else is gonna <laughs> suggest we do. And then we'll put it together with the rest of our form and do it through. Okay, here we go. So we've got pheasant, down, right foot, strike, rock back, left foot, strike, okay? We're gonna take a half a step in at that point. So if you wanna do that, that's fine. We can add that in. All right. It's a lot of Tai Chi okay. for one day, <laughs> but we're going to do it. We're going to get this part done, and then, uh, and then next week we'll learn one more move. <laughs> All right, so I'm standing in my earth posture with my feet forward, and we're just going to put that move in with our other move. So once I'm centered, I take myself over a little bit wider. My arms come up over a ball. Push and bring my right foot with me. And then as I rock back, all of this comes to my hip, and then I step out to part the horse's mane. Step right, horse's mane. Step left, horse's mane. Half a step in. Bring the weight back. We're going to turn white crane spreads its wings. Brush your knee and push. Round two. <laughs> One more. Half a step in. Strum your guitar. And then we pull back the bow and hug the planet. Step back, bow, planet. <laughs> step back, bow, planet. One more. Step back, bow, planet, and then we step back so that we can grasp the bird's tail. So we're going to reach up, come on down, push the wrist, pull the ball up, oh, and then push it away. It always gets heavier the second time. <laughs> push that heavy ball away. Then we're going to step out, grasp bird's tail on the right side, push the wrist, pull the ball, push away that heavy mountain, <laughs> we're coming around, and then we're going to step out to catch the tiger by the tail. If I have a lot of room, I get big on that one, <laughs> but in this space, it's tiny, and then we're going to wave hands like clouds. time. And then I'm going to step out to catch my tiger. I'm bringing this right foot in, then picking it up, kicking it out, 
boxing my opponent on the ears. Turning open wide, I'm going to pick up my left foot, kick it out. <laughs> snake by my ear. Step out to my left. The right snake creeps down. Golden pheasant. Turn to your left. Right step, left snake. Golden pheasant. We're going to close that box. Step out. Push up. Step out. Push up. Half a step in. That's where we're going to end this today. So let's do a little stretch. <laughs> we'll do a little side stretch. And a little side stretch. When the weather cools off enough that I feel like I can be outside, I'll take this whole thing into my backyard <laughs> and hope the neighbors don't walk by. so we can bow to each other. So the right hand in a fist represents strength. The left hand in an open palm with the thumb coming in close represents friendship and humility. So we always balance our strength with humility and with friendship. <laughs> we bow to each other. And then for yoga's purposes, namaste. <laughs>